Hi everybody, welcome. Today we're having a wig chat and we're taking a look at this very Raquel Welch wig I have here in this box. It's called Go To Style and it's in the color Shaded Biscuit. <music> out if it's going to live up to its name and I may not actually come to that conclusion in this very wig chat because some of my sort of grab and go sort of go-to styles they become that after you know I've had them for a little I mean, bit what makes a go-to style for you because the criteria is probably very different amongst us wig wearers um it has to be an easy wear and for me that means there it can't be super high maintenance I have to be able to stick it on my head. And even if it's being a little fussy that day, I know that I can just put a little something in it and it's gonna look cute and I can wear it for the rest of the day just fine. You know, because even my very favorite wigs, I think it's my mindset more than anything. And I will just be like, why is this not looking right today? And I'll have to maybe clip it or do something that allows me to feel comfortable in it that day. I don't know why that happens. So, I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean it's not a go-to style, but it definitely, you know, I, I don't wanna spend a long, long time in the bathroom trying to get it to look good. Okay, <laughs> let's just start this off right away looking at the cap. It's machine wefted. We do have a beautifully lined, very soft, velvety, extended nape. We have the kind of adjustable straps back here that are Velcro. We have that same really soft velvet here on the temple tabs or the ear tabs. It looks like we have temple to temple lacing, first of all. Temple to temple lace front. So, and it's a Rackout Welch lace front. I already know that's going to be amazing because I have yet to be disappointed in a Rackout Welch lace front wig whether or not it's the kind that kind of goes from here to here or if it's truly temple to temple they're always beautiful the top here looks like we have a left side monofilament part that goes very far back here and looks like we have a bit of permatease and i'm feeling and there's not a lot but a little bit of permatease ever so slightly on each side of that monofilament part so there you have it. Uh, we have a pretty decent amount of stretch. So this is an in, this is interesting. I have not put this on my head. So this will be a first, you know, like a true first impression. I'm seeing a lot of texturizing and, and very sort of fine fibers, probably, I don't know, it could be just the texturizing, but to me they look even more fine than what I'm used to seeing with Racco Welch. Interesting. Okay, I got to put this on because I'm not going to know anything until I get it on my head. Okay, guys, so again, not put this on my head yet. I got to get a little closer to you here. Got to get closer to my mirror as well. I got to make sure this is straight. Clearly, it's not. Okay. I think that's where it needs to be. Okay, right here. So from here to here is the part and then you know we've got that beautiful lace front that comes down truly to the temple it tapers down to the temple so you know anywhere where you see all the way through here even all as far down as here it's going to look like those fibers are you know the hair's actually grown right out of your own scalp it's a lovely feature a good lace front is going to really up the styling options for you. It's going to give you this level of comfort and confidence, I think. You know, if it is a style that you're thinking, I might want to wear that a little away from my face, it is uh, truly worth that extra bit of money because that is going to drive the price up a little bit in that particular wig. I first just want to get to know this style i want to see what it's shaped like you know and and just take a look at it and so how i do that is really floofing it up kind of just looking it over and and seeing seeing what maybe the intention is and you don't always get that idea from looking at the stock photos i mean if anything it can make you get like you don't even want to get near that wig 
cute. Okay. I am going to do a spin before this is the kind of style that is actually really, really fun to style. And so, you know, I'm going to want to do that, but I just want to make sure I feel like I'm still, no, I'm straight. Let's go ahead and do a spin. So you guys can see what this looks like on a real person all the way around. We have this absolutely beautiful lace front here. Oh, you know, these fibers are so fine that there's virtually no visual sense of any sort of knot of any kind. Boy, that's gorgeous. And they always are. They always are. But that's pretty. That is gorgeous. So, you know, you have the option of really just taking this completely off the face with no qualms at all it, it's just that nice really really pretty really pretty i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use the hair you wear this is the control aerosol hairspray so this is going to give a very fine mist we'll see how this goes sometimes the finer textures like this do better with actually a little bit heavier wetter type of hairspray for wigs so this one's very light we'll see we'll see what we think also the cool thing about this one is there is a dial here and you can dial it for the amount of product that you want to come out so if you want a very heavy application you would dial it to the h which would be considered high i'm actually going to go i'm actually going to go low i don't think i'm gonna go too crazy we'll see so I'm going to just, I think my plan and goal here is, is just to kind of calm down some of these flyaways and it might be so light that I'm going to need a heavier hairspray. This is a very, very light aerosol, I must say. You're not going to get a lot of stickiness. This isn't a super heavy fold hold. You know what? I think I am. I'm going to get a heavier hair. Grab this one. This is also a hair you wear and it is called shape much more wet. This is a pump. It's going to weigh the fibers down a little bit, but it's going to be stickier. You're going to get a good amount of hold with it, but it's just sometimes, you know, you need a heavier, uh, hairspray with fibers like this. I kind of want this to, to be a little sleek. I don't want a Karen look, if you will, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, I just want a really classic sort of sleek look, I think. But you can also tuck both sides. Maybe keep this down a little bit and uh, brush this back. this cap is fitting me great it is not fitting me smaller than normal I don't know why it looked smaller to me when I first looked at it um, it's it's fitting really nicely 
I'll put my measurements down in the description box like I always do. So you have something to sort of gauge that by. You can compare it to your measurements. Very comfortable. These sort of caps, uh, Rocco Welch caps generally are quite comfortable. You know, this is still a wig. I mean, you if you if you are pondering wearing a wig, you have not yet. You have essentially a hat on your head all day. But let me tell you, there is a difference between one that is comfortable and one that is not. And you cannot wait to get that thing off your head at the end of the day. There is a big difference. And you won't know that until you start trying them. Because what sort of makes one comfortable to you may be very different than my criteria, you know, and what I feel is comfortable for myself. So you may be able to tolerate a lot more than I or vice versa. I can't possibly just say this, you know. But for me, in general, Rakow Welch is very, very comfortable. Okay, I grabbed a square band headband. I have not talked about these in quite some time. When it comes to accessories for wigs, this is my absolute favorite. I wear them all the time, even if you, you don't necessarily hear me talk about them. Boy, I did in the beginning of my wig journey because these little guys here saved me a lot. When you first start wearing wigs, it you do feel like every single one looks wiggy on you, even though you're getting different feedback, perhaps from family and friends, um, or even pictures You know that you see. It's like, oh, it looked okay. But you feel like it does because <clears throat> you've lived, if you have very fine, very thin hair, you're not used to seeing a normal head of hair on yourself. So it takes a little bit for your eye to sort of catch up. And eventually it does. However, you know, I still, I still have to give myself a little time with a brand new wig. And there are some wigs I feel just do look wiggy on me and I never wear them and they just never look non-wiggy. It may only take an hour or two before it, your, your eye is finally like accepting that new wig that you have. But putting something in them definitely helps and i reached for these all the time these are headbands they're like sunglasses in that they fold in super comfortable they do not hurt behind the ear they have the sunglass kind of you know backing here but these have this really comfortable soft silicone so you just don't feel it back there and they are completely appropriate no matter your age they're not juvenile looking you know what i mean they're it's it's like on this on the profile it's like you just have your sunglasses propped up they're just beautiful um you can get them plain with no bling i love bling so i usually have some bling on the side of some sort but my goodness a style like this is made made for these i might leave just the littlest bit out i don't always it just depends, I guess, on, on how I'm feeling that day. And then I take one side and I get it kind of right there by the ear and take the other side and I stick it up and in, just kind of put it in there. No, these will not be extra security and be the thing that's going to hold the wig to your head. No, nope, don't depend on it for that. That's not the idea. I'm going to take some hairspray. Kind of style it around however I want. And it's just a fun little accessory that I put in a lot of my wigs. Even my longer wigs on days, I just don't feel like fighting it around my face. I'll stick one of these in and it keeps it back nicely out of my face all day and it looks really cute. So I'm going to put the, uh, I've been, I've been, 
talking about these, you guys, since about 2017. They're a small little company, the kindest, kindest people you ever want to talk to. I, I mean, this is a woman owned business. I'm going to put the website down below in the description box and my coupon code. You can always get this discount. It's not ran for a certain amount of time or with only so many, you know, there's no conditions to my coupon code. So utilize it if they're not having a sale running at the time, whenever you want. And yes, I can, I can wear my wig. I can wear the headband and my glasses and I'm fine. It's, it's very comfortable. Guys, don't forget this is a heat friendly fiber. So you can take heat to this. You could even put a little bit of, I don't know, you could really change it up and do just sort of a, a wave or some sort of light curl to it because we do have some length to this. So, I mean, you could do a, a whole different sort of look to this by adding a little bit of heat. You could even stick a little clip in here that might be kind of cute. Styles like this, I think, just look cute when they're a little messy, you know? It's like, I'm just gonna tuck, I'm just gonna tuck this, I'm gonna pin this back and just kinda let this do its messy thing and uh, call it good. Might even stick another one. Even stick another one just for interest, not just because it's doing anything, but um, I don't know. I just, I just think these are just fun when you just get just a little, just messy. Mm -hmm. That made quite a popping sound <laughs> right next to my ear. Okay. Um, accidentally made it look cute. That's my goal is something that I strategically did, but it looks like I accidentally made it look cute. I love styles like this because you can make it look very classy, just sleek and sophisticated, or you can just make it look very casual, very just light, easy breezy. I, I really do love styles like this, you know? So if you're looking for sort of a shorter, very trendy style, something that you can just make your own from day to day, changing it up and it's gonna look cute, you can count on it. You might wanna look into this one. Always hope you find these helpful, whether you're embarking on your wig journey and you have yet to pick that very first one, or you're just looking to add something new to your collection. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.